Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, we managed to enter Junin, and then saving a little girl named Pers Pers uh, Persily or Persila from the boss Bottomswell. And after saving that, and you know, saving her, she ended up giving us the shield material and told us how we can be able to get up to the top of the town. So now we're on the top of the town now, and we are dressed as a Shinra soldier. This is kind of the more interesting segment of the game, and I have to say, I do like this segment, and that is a big, huge gun. Like, not G-U-N gun, just a big, huge gun. G-H-U-N. Or just B-G, never, never, I'm just gonna shut up now. That's just a big, giant gun, and it looks like that it can do a lot of damage. What kind of damage? I have no freaking clue. Anywho, and no one's here. We are so late. <laughs> hey, rookie, it's your fault for running around like that. Captain, we'll take a shortcut. Um, all right, sure, whatever. Anyways, we could take the shortcut, or I can go ahead and say, screw that noise, and actually go inside this area over here. Okay, never mind. Hey, don't get me any madder than I already am. Oh, but I, but I, I want to go inside the building. Fine. Hey, look, it's a doggo. Oh. All right. So, like I said before in the last episode, we're gonna get ourselves a grenade. That little radiator that you see down there, that's very important. This is stupid, and we're gonna fail. No, I'm actually being serious. We are going to fail. We're not. We're not doing this. We're not going to do this on the first try. Okay. If you look bad, the whole Junin army will look bad. Remember that, and don't screw up. Okay. Jump in, and get when I give you the sign. Alright, fine, whatever. This is stupid. He, he actually didn't give me the sign. Don't worry. He, he, he gives me the sign when he kind of... Uh, okay, you gave me the sign you idiot. What the hell? Yeah, I'm getting myself a grenade. This segment sucks This segment is also very awkward One two three four one two three four one two three four one two Okay, yeah, whatever <laughs> Well, it's so-and-so hmm Let's send that soldier something. I got six potions. Yeah. I wish I got a grenade instead. What the frick am I supposed to use with basic potions? I'm I'm shook. No, I'm serious. I'm shook. Usually 90% of people always get grenades. I mean, I got so and so. I kind of like the line. What happens if you actually screw that up, though? But whatever. What happened to the airship? Uh, the long range airship is still being prepared. It should be ready in about three more days. <laughs> right. Even the Air Force Gal, Gal Niki? Neka? Okay. Stop that stupid horse laugh. Things are different than when father was in charge. Gah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Is the ship ready? Yes, sir. We'll get it ready quickly. We can shoot him here now and snipe his ass. <laughs> what? What the? What? What are you doing? What? What? What is it? What? Why are you saying hey to me? I don't even know what's happening, man. That was a disaster. Heidegger was really irritated. The man in the black cape has been roaming the city, but we can't find him. Man in the black cape. He showed up two or three days ago and killed a few of our soldiers. Well, damn, son. He disappeared right after that. There's rumor going around that it was Sephiroth. 
Attention! Dismissed! Okay. Okie dokie. Hey! You messing with the army? What if I am? You're too lazy. No break for you. Well, damn. <laughs> huh. Oh, I, I try to be a badass. This is the military, soldier. Your orders for today are send off President Rufus to dock. I'll keep drilling you until it's time. Well, damn. All right, this is the segment I was thinking of last episode. All right, line up in order and show me your final pose. Today's command is formation. Remember it. Ready. Junior military send off begin. Oh, he, not, not yet. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna say this now. This is a lot easier to do off of the PS4 than it is on Steam. On Steam, they want you to press the buttons that that are weird. Like, seriously, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn. And you essentially just follow the little guy saying the Simon says, and you should be fine. It's really simple, but it's one of those things that's like you have to do it timing. So, because here's the thing. If you do it right, you will end up getting yourself something good. Or, you know, you'll get yourself a better cloud weapon is all I'm going to say. I don't have anything except um, I can do this. Oh, yeah, son. My victory animation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys can go ahead and uh, practice that and, uh, you know, keep winning a lot of fights. Alright, so now we can freely look around the entire town, or we can just completely ignore that entirely. Let's not go that way. That is, that basically sends you back to Junin's main area. Hey, look! It's that. What the hell is that guy's name? Uh, crap. It's not Reno. It's not Rufus. It's not, I don't know the dude's name. Wait, hold on. I didn't even talk to the guy that was even outside. He's far, he's gone now. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Welcome, I was just starting to get worried. You see our sales were pretty bad today. I wonder why. Well, let's see, you have sense, you have seal magic, which I do not really remember what that is, but you do have revive, so I'm kind of convinced. Revive is actually pretty good materia. I'm not sure if you will be able to find one, but, you know, just in case, you might as well just own one right now. Uh, we have only two restores. I need one more restore because I kind of need restore to be on almost every single character. Trust me, you have no idea. Alright, uh, let me see. Who's gonna be on my team? Do you, Barrett, do you have, um, you don't have anything. So let's put Restore on you. And for Yuffie, I will give you, I will put the Lightning Material on Barrett. And I'm going to trust you with Revive, even though this is probably gonna be a bad idea, but it'll be cool. Don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Alright, so what's actually in here anyways? This is a pretty interesting shop. Even though, you know, you say sales are kind of pretty bad and whatnot, but... I mean, at least you try to make ends meet, dude. I mean, keep it up. Don't worry. You'll get your money's worth. Anyways, there's nothing else to really do here. That guy just sells materia. Let's go in here. Ooh, shopkeeper. It's an item shop. She sells all kinds of stuff. She sells sadness and fury. I'm not gonna buy any of those because I don't need any of them. In all fairness, I really don't. Items are like the, the only items that I probably will ever buy is probably like, um, tents and the like, but that's really it. Yo, what's up? Hey, how could they do that? Nobody woke me up. Um, okay. Hmm, I know it all, huh? Alright, come in. I, I don't know everything. Ooh. Alright, now, this is a bit morbid. Um, you guys want to know what these guys are? These hollow, these guys that are transparent? 
these are the tutorial guys they got reincarnate well they're not even reincarnated they end up here so if you talk to them they actually tell you beginner stuff it's weird I don't know why they're here I don't have any in clue as to why they are ghosts but you want to know something that's kind of that's kind of weird <laughs> Okay, wise guy, I asked about materia, just so you can get, so you can let off some stress. Um, listen, I don't need to, the rest is a secret. I'm just gonna, what do you, what do you have to offer? Okay, expert, enlighten us on limit techniques, why don't you? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, pick up this, we get ourselves a second enemy skill. I think there are a total of four or three enemy skills in the game. Sadly, however, um, does the enemy skill, do we have to relearn enemy skills or does all the, or, bleh, or do all the enemy skills get transferred over? I kind of hope that it's the latter because in all fairness, I don't really want to have to level up another freaking enemy skill again because trying to get the same exact enemy skill is pretty freaking annoying. Uh, I won't be able to see it because Yuffie's not in my party. But yeah, that's how you get your second enemy skill. There are multiple enemy skills that you can get, and I recommend trying to get all of them because you never know. You might end up needing more than one enemy skill. Like I said, enemy skills are probably like your best bet of actually beating this game without any issues. Ooh, a one of 35 soldier. It's a miniature figure. I hear a cat meowing. Oh, there it is. It's two cats. Look source. It's meowing. You know, they didn't have to meow. They didn't have to make the meow, the, the cat meow or the dog bark, but I'm not sure it's just saying that they do. Anyways, we got a luck source and a mind source, obviously. We use that for Cloud. Because why not? He's our party member. Ooh, what's this? A guard source. And a dog. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go back again. I didn't know I got a grab a ball. Where the hell did I get that from? I don't even know. All right, what do you got? And a power source. God damn. Hmm. I'm not going to the parade. The road to becoming a soldier first class is very difficult. Hey, Mr. Lazy. Don't be that guy, guys. Remember, stick to your trainings, stick to your guns, and also do what you're supposed to do. Cause then you know. Now I know he went this way. Aha! Who are you? Yeah, I want weapons. Hard edge. Don't buy that. Grand glove. Also don't buy that. Atomic scissors. Pointless. Striking staff. Bought it. Diamond pin. Uh, we can actually get that somewhere. Boomerang. Sure, why not? You know, it's weird. When I play Final Fantasy VII, I barely... The only time I ever actually utilized the, um... The... What is it? The attack button is rarely... I mean, there is going to be a part that we are going to have to utilize attacks, but that's... There's neither here or there. This is the pub. Or the bar. And it seems that... What the hell is your name? I'm not speaking to you until I actually know your name. I know it's not Reno. It's, it, it, it's not Barrett. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, man. Forget it. Oh, it's rude. Your name is rude. You're rude. You take your mask off and come here. That's our rule. Sorry, I can't do that, buddy. Looks like something's going on outside. But we're too smashed to do anything. Seems like you're a little too young to be here. Says you. I'm like 17 something years old. I'm sorry. It's all rented out today. But yeah. Uh, essentially, this is just a fine rude just getting smashed. And that's it. To be honest, I don't really blame him considering being a Turk is a pretty is a pain in the ass. Alright. So let's go ahead and go into this general direction. Yo, what's up? What you gotta say? What you gotta say? What you got to say? President Rufus is being sent off to the port. 
Well, we gotta go find him then. Cause, Lord behold, I can't see myself. Uh, you don't wanna go down there. You, you wanna go down there later. So let's go ahead and get to the meeting so we can get our stuff started. Ooh, we got two more areas to go to. Neat. Oh, here are the other Turks. The president is safe because we're here. All right, sure, buddy. Just when I think the job is boring, you guys start messing around. <sighs> to be fair, you guys kind of need a break. Can I talk to you? Stay out of this. Oh, okay, fine, buddy. Jerk. Anyways, they seem to be taking a bit of a hefty break. What the hell is this area? Oh, this is an inn. Well, I don't really need to be in an inn as of this point, because being in an inn is pretty pointless. Well, let's see what's upstairs. Um... What the hell is this? What kind of sick, twisted... What do you have? But what bothers me is that the girls make more than me. No, duh, I wonder why, buddy. Oh, you got a poison. I mean... There's obvious reason the girls make more than you, but I'm not gonna even go into detail with that. This place is getting freakier and freakier. Ooh, what do you gotta sell, buddy? I used to be a soldier. Afterwards, I opened this shop. But to tell you the truth, I'd rather be at the shop downstairs. Why? Because of the girls? You got silver glasses and a headband. Both protects you from darkness and sleep. Not even worth it, considering the fact that um, half of the time, there are like not really a lot of enemies that induces sleep and darkness. Even though half of the time, even if they do induce that, magic still pierces right through that anyway, so. I'm not, I'm not too bothered by it. Anywho, that was a very weird ass shop. Uh, they selling material and whatnot, and also selling go-go girls. What's in this place? Hey, aren't you still on duty? Look, I shouldn't talk, but... Yeah, you should not say anything, buddy, because you are supposed to be out there doing the shenanigans, but you're here sunbathing? I don't even know what the hell you're doing. Hey, we got another soldier thingy. What are you doing? This is so embarrassing. And they told me I would be staying at Five Star Hotel on this trip. Well, somebody lied to you. No, seriously, somebody did lie to you. I don't know why you keep believing in what Shinra has to offer. And I think this should be the last area that we can go into. Ooh. Look at this fancy place. Ooh, what do you have? Oh, welcome. We don't have much of anything now. I forgot to order enough the last time, but feel free to look around. Myth wow, you got the old stuff, bruh. Like, wow, you not, you were not kidding. You got the old things. <laughs> why do, you, why does that store exist? Aside from being a very hilarious thing, uh, we got a few two other sources on us right now. So let's actually use the last two. We got a power source and a speed source. That ends up increasing dexterity. I'm not sure if that's our accuracy, but whatever. Just use it anyways. Who cares? All right. Before Rufus gets sent off, we need to send him off on a good high note, shall we? And obviously, the best way to send him off on a good high note is by doing our little tradition. Now, this can go wrong or this can go right. This is probably going to go wrong. If I do miss the weapon, it's not the end of the world. But you do want the president's mood to be, you know, decent. Oops. What the crap? Okay.
Yeah, boys. That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. Also, I see red 13 there. Hi, red 13. I, I don't know. I This is stupid. Well done. Keep it the good word for Shinra Inc. I'm not getting my weapon. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> I don't. I think you're supposed to probably get 150. Oh no, I got it. Four stealer. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought I screwed that. That section. It says press left. I press. No way. No, I press right. Oh my God. I don't know my directions. <laughs> ah, whatever. Who cares? Ah, I don't care. <laughs> I thought I told you to stop that stupid laugh. Ah, we get, we managed to get the stupid dumb weapon that we wanted, so I, I don't, it, it doesn't matter. And now he's mad again. Yeah, we did it. That was close. That has been really edgy lately. I don't blame him, because Hojo disappeared, leaving a letter of, reckon of, res of resignation. Heidegger's been forced to take over that investigation, too. Hey, I thought you were dismissed. Who's that jumping person? I don't know who that is. We got some cleaning up to do. Hurry up. Says you. I'm going on the ship. Bye. <laughs> Across the ocean to the new continent. Even if we were wearing Shimra's uniforms. Alright. But now it is time for us to set sail. To new horizons. On a new island. Pokemon Johto. Whatever. <laughs> Sadly however this will actually be the end of the episode. Cause yeah. <laughs> Why the hell not. I really hope the rest of the party actually made it on board, or else this is going to be very, very bad. Ooh. We can open this. Now, let's check out Force Stealer, shall we? Force Stealer. Ah, it's, this is one of the first weapons that actually gives us double materia growth. As you can see there, you can see that the dots are, well, separated and they're not together. So, 36 attack strength, 100% accuracy. Really good weapon. And also ends up increasing the level up system for this. I'm actually going to switch um, bio. Wait, I can actually do that myself. I'm actually going to switch bio over here because the reasoning behind it is because bio needs to level up while rest and so does restore it all. I barely level up the summons because I have my reasons and enemy skill doesn't even level up anyway. So who cares? I'm working hard already, and you still want me to do more? The new president is probably the same. He's just gonna order us around anyway. I, I don't know. Oh, hi, Yuffie. This is why I hate ships. Um, here. Ugh, you don't have any? Oh, this is an emergency. Get away from me. Where are the others? I don't know. Aren't they hiding somewhere around here? How should I know? Crap. Actually. Isn't there a shop somewhere? Um, it's me, Aerith. Hey, Cloud, did you see the airship in Junin? I heard it was big, but didn't expect it to be that big. I... Alright, I'm not... Um... Yeah, I don't know. By the way, this is kind of... You can also raise affinity for Yuffie as well, so... Yeah, be careful. Isn't there a shop here? I'm pretty sure there's a shop here so I can give her the tranquilizer so I can be able to get that friggin' item that she has. And up there is... Tifa? I think it's Tifa. That might be Tifa. That's gotta be Tifa. Tifa, is that you? No, that's not you, Tifa. No, it is you, Tifa. I really hate this uniform. Uniform, soldiers, war, I hate them all. They take away all the things that people love. I wish they all disappear. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I'll continue my watch, sir. Oh, Lord. I think she's getting way into, into, into the role. Tifa, this is not roleplay. You can't be doing this. President Rufus and his men are in the bridge of the ship. If they see you slagging, they'll bust one. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, a seaman's gotta have oomph. Something's missing. Uh, what do you mean missing? You only have posters in Phoenix Towns? My dude! Ugh, you're so useless. Red 13, oh, Red 13, Red 13, you're trying, bro. You're trying, you're trying. Like, you're really trying. I can tell it's you. I know. You're you're trying your best, boy. You, you're. Yeah, you might wanna. You might wanna get rid of the tail. <laughs> it's like just fruit for thought. You might wanna get rid of the tail. Just, just saying. All right. So I'm actually gonna end the episode here. Until next time, folks. We'll be. Talking to more to our friends on the ship, and hopefully we'll be heading to Costa del Sol, apparently. Anyways, I've been CCX, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. See yous!